Hello and welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Eleanor of Aquitaine. Eleanor of Aquitaine was one of the most powerful and influential figures in the Middle Ages. Let's find out why. Eleanor was born in southern France in 1122. She was well educated by her father, William X, Duke of Aquitaine. She inherited her father's estate at the age of 15, which made her the most sought after bride of her generation. Eleanor was placed under the guardianship of the King of France and within hours engaged to his son and heir Louis. They had little time to get to know each other before they were married as Louis's father had fallen ill and when he died he now became the king. Eleanor and Louis married in July 1137. Eleanor and Louis received this gift from her grandfather William IX. On Christmas Day 1137, Louis and Eleanor were crowned King and Queen of France. Louis and Eleanor's early years as rulers were fraught with power struggles with the Pope in Rome and Count Theobald of Champagne. Louis made a series of diplomatic blunders which culminated in the massacre of hundreds of innocents in the town of Vitry. During the siege, the populace took refuge in a church which was set on fire by Louis's troops. Dogged by guilt for years, Louis responded eagerly to the Pope's call for a crusade in 1145. Eleanor joined him on the dangerous and ill-fated journey west and the crusade did not go very well. Eleanor and Louis grew increasingly estranged and Eleanor sought an annulment on the grounds of being related by royal blood. They separated in 1152 and she left two daughters in the custody of the king. Within two months of her annulment, Eleanor got engaged to the Duke of Normandy. Eleanor married Henry, despite rumours that Eleanor was having an affair with her new husband's father. Within two years, Henry and Eleanor were crowned King and Queen of England after the death of King Stephen. Eleanor's marriage to Henry was more successful than her first and they produced eight children together between 1152 to 1166, including three future kings of England. However, the marriage broke down in 1167 and Eleanor separated from Henry and moved her household to Poitiers, the reason being perhaps Henry's increasing infidelities. Eleanor's time as mistress of her own lands in Poitiers between 1168 and 1173 established the legend of the Court of Love, where she is reputed to have encouraged a culture of chivalry among her courtiers that had far-reaching influence on literature, poetry, music and folklore. In 1173, Eleanor's son, young Henry, fled to France apparently to plot against his father and seize the English throne. Eleanor was rumoured to be actively supporting her son's plans against her estranged husband and was arrested and imprisoned for treason. She spent 16 years shuttled between various castles and stronghold in England. Young Henry died in 1183 and begged on his deathbed for his mother's release. Henry granted her a partial freedom in 1183. When Henry II died in July 1189, Richard succeeded him. One of his first acts was to free his mother from prison and restore her to full freedom. Eleanor ruled as regent in Richard's name while he went on the Third Crusade. When he died in 1199, Eleanor lived to see her youngest son, John, be crowned and was employed as an envoy to France. She supported John's rule against the rebellion of her grandson, Arthur. Eventually, Eleanor retired as a nun in an abbey, and this is where she is buried with Henry II and also Richard. She died in 1204. Tell 
Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like it and subscribe or follow me at Twitter at Little Miss History 81 at Tanya Alex 38 or check out the new Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Tanya Alex 38.